Hey guys, how's it going? Apex here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit your voiceovers to sound professional or radio like within Adobe Audition. So let me know down in the comments section if you would like a similar tutorial for Audacity, but with that out of the way, let's get started. So first and foremost, the microphone that I'm currently using is the Blue Snowball. And while its raw audio is still decent, you can get the audio sounding significantly better if you just spend some time to follow the steps in this tutorial. So I'm going to start off by playing back the original audio so you guys can get a sense of what it sounds like beforehand. This is a test audio recording that I will be editing within Adobe Audition. So as you guys can see, the audio is okay, but it's kind of flat, lacking flavor, and can definitely be improved on. So to start off, we're going to boost the effects of the lower frequency so we can get a nice and rich bass. So to do that, we're going to go to our effects rack, go to filter and EQ, and parametric equalizer, and of course, what it just did there with the presets was ensure that we started off with the default preset. And from here, I'm going to start off with the low frequencies and adjust the gain and the frequency at which the pronunciation will occur. And then the gain for the mids, mid frequency here, I'm going to have it negative four decibels. And then at the highs, I'm going to change this to 6,000 hertz and 6 decibels. And then close out of that. And then the next thing that we're going to do is counterbalance the increased definition of the lows. And so to do that, we're going to go back to filter and EQ, but this time select graphic, graphic equalizer 20 bands. And from here, you can see what will work for you, but I'm just going to show you guys what works for me and what I prefer. And so I'm going to start at the 2.8. 8k frequency level and enter in what I typically use. And then we can close out of that. And next thing that we're going to do is head over head over back to our effects rack, go to amplitude and compression, and this time go to a hard limiter. And this time we're just going to ensure that, of course, our preset is selected as default to start off and change our maximum amplitude to negative two decibels. And then lastly, we're going to correct the output volume of the audio. So this will be different in every scenario, but if you look down at the levels bar as I play back my audio, You guys can see that the levels never really breaches into the red section as and as a general rule of thumb I like to use negative negative seven as a barrier. So if any of my audio passes about negative seven decibels, I typically try and uh, turn down some of that some of the volume just because I would rather have my audio a little bit too quiet as preferred to a little bit too loud. And you know, you you can play around with that. It's over here output but for me this is this is working just the way it is and let's play back the final audio just to see what it sounds this like this is a test audio recording that i will be editing within adobe audition and as you guys can see it sounds a lot better than what we had in the start if you want to go and check that out again you can go back to the start of the video where i showed the original audio sample and of course to save these effects as a preset so you can apply them all at once in the future with one click of a button just go to the little button with a downwards arrow and you can name the preset whatever you want so I'm going to name this um, my preset and then anytime let's say you have default your you have your default preset selected just go back to presets and you can select my preset and it'll automatically apply the effects that we had we had saved last time and of course once you have applied or once you have uh, change some of these settings you want to click on apply to ensure that the effects are actually applied once you export your audio anyway i hope this video did help you guys out definitely consider subscribing if it did because i upload one to two tech videos a week with a guaranteed upload every friday thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one